nervous. I know. I'm nervous. I just want it to be done. I want to get the shot, go to sleep, so wake up, and then we'll be all done. Be in my bed. Hi, I'm Marnie. Nice to meet you, Marnie. Hi. Uh, welcome. Come on. Are you, Are you scared? A little bit. <laughs> Certainly, everyone, to some degree or another, has an asymmetry in the size and shape of their chest, be they men or women. But the degree of size and shape change in Laurel is dramatic. Within that, um, she's lucky in that the shape of the breasts are somewhat normal. Second, then we're going to put you to sleep. Okay. All right. Start to feel real sleepy in a second or two. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Let me just check this here. And now it's. The exciting thing, particularly with this new operation, that there is a lot of art involved. Um, because it, a lot of it is based upon how well. I can really mold the operation as opposed to formally following a set pattern that dictated what the result was going to be like. What I'm doing now is I am uh, taking the uh, preset nipple arilla cookie cutter and I am determining the size of her nipple arillus so that I can match it perfectly when I move the nipple arillus on the left side. Pickups, pickups. Removing the skin, which has completed, which will now allow me to move the nipple arillus upwards. And we're at the point now where we want to shape the breast and bring it into position for closure. So far, so good. Stay put. Hi, everybody. Hello. I just want to let you know everything is really going well. We're closing the first side, which is the hard side. That was the left side where the mastopexy was. And then we're going to just change over and go to the other side. We're on about an hour, an hour, an hour and 15 minutes from, from being finally closed. On the right side, I'm now making an incision along the inferior border of the nipple arillus. The nipple arillus is a different color than the surrounding skin, and so consequently a scar placed along will hide very well. And we are dissecting down through the breast down to her muscle. And we're going to place the implants be not only behind the breast, but behind the pectoralis major muscle. This is a uh, smooth surface saline implant. I am now we're going to remove the air. I use the section in the valve. You can see the air is out. Then I will hook it up to a closed system so that there's no 
chance for bacteria to get in. This is basically normal saline that's being placed in. I went into plastic surgery because I think it's the only specialty that deals with the quality of someone's life, not necessarily the quantity of it. You're clearly improving the quality of someone's life, and that's exciting to me. Yeah, I just follow the line of fiber, so it, it you know, look kind of nice. All right. There you go. We're done. Now I'm going to dress <laughs> Sports bra is for support. She'll wear this for several days. The ace wrap that I'm going to put over it will come off in 24 hours. Now this is um this will reverse the paralysis that she has. So she'll start breathing again on her own, and I won't wake her up totally, but it will. She'll start breathing. You want the nice warm the stuff right story. next to her skin, so she feels that when she's waking up. Thanks, Art. <laughs> Basically, in the recovery room, you're going to be monitoring the same vital signs, your blood pressure and your pulse oximeter. How are you doing? Oh, my God. Which side hurts more, the left or the right? Both. Hey, Mom, and everyone who's going to come, would you like to? We're going to go out this door. To the left. Yeah, when we go out the door, though, we need to go out. Thanks. Push up with your legs and don't do anything with your arms, okay? Take your time. Very good. See, she's great. She's going to go Okay, Mom. It's all okay. yours. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. We'll see you Thursday. Uh-huh, you'll see me Thursday. Well, it's kind of a gloomy day out. It's just rained for a couple of hours now. The recovery was the most excruciating pain of my life. By far worse than giving birth to the baby. It was horrible. I couldn't do anything by myself. I had to have my mom help me do everything. I had planned on taking three days off of work and I ended up taking two weeks off of work. I can't wait to get this thing off me and <laughs> let me see what I look like. Go shopping. <laughs> After the recovery, I felt like a whole new person. I don't think anybody could ever comprehend how much different I felt. And people have seen it in my attitude, they've seen it in the way I carry myself, they've seen it in my appearance. It's just all of me. I felt like a woman for the first time. Where's her bucket? It sure feels good to finally be okay with going to the lake or going to the beach or going in the jacuzzi or going swimming. I have, you know, tan lines now. I just never could do that. And this might sound small and stupid, but it, it's important to me. It made me feel good. wasn't quite prepared for the change that I did incur that I don't think I was really prepared for either. He's kind of, are you gonna wear that? You know, you're showing a little bit too much skin there. But I think it's it's all in good fun and he gets a kick out of it. All right, who's next? My family is the most important thing to me. Without them, none of this would have been possible. You know, my mom took care of me. My dad and Nora steered me down the right path, helped me making appointments, talking yeah, to doctors, to talking to insurance companies. And they took care of Briston for two weeks after I was done with, and that was an incredible amount of help. I don't know how I could have done it without any one of them. When I look in the mirror now, I definitely see a different person. I see someone who's happy, who you know, looks forward to waking up in the morning now and 
Now I can see people looking at me because, wow, you know, she's got some nice cleavage. People tell me that all the time now as before I was, you know, and I never had good posture and I was always trying to hide from people and worrying or wondering, is everybody staring at me, you know, can they tell? Dr. Corbin is my angel. I, to this day, have not found the perfect way to say thank you to him. I don't think I ever will. Um, what he did for me was amazing. He, yeah, it was cosmetic surgery, but without him, I would not be who I am today, confident, happy. I just love life now, and I hadn't felt that way before. And I honestly, honestly, every day I look in the mirror when I start to get tears in my eyes, I just thank, thank God for Dr. Corbin. I do feel like a normal person now. I feel like a woman. I feel like a whole person. I've never felt that way before.